your Hamiltonian okay, can be written as a sum of two parts. Let's call that H naught plus H prime. Okay, such that you know what the eigenfunctions are of H naught. In other words, you know that H naught psi naught equals E naught psi naught. In other words, you know how to solve this equation right here. So these these wave functions psi naughts would be your, what you would call your zero order wave functions, and the energies here are your zero order energies. We call them zero order because those are just approximation. So those are what you call your zero order approximation, because your true Hamiltonian does have this extra term. Okay. So the basic idea behind perturbation theory is you can derive formulas for the correction terms that you have to add to these uh, zero order approximations. So the formula for the first order correction, so let's say the nth energy level, okay, would be approximately equal to the value of the energy at the zero order approximation, the nth, the nth le energy level plus a correction term, and then you can, you can derive formulas for a second order correction, a third order correction, and so on and so forth, okay? And what we said last time is that you can show that the first order correction term for the energy, okay, will just be equal to this integral right here. So it's size of n naught h prime size of n naught integral operating on h sub, I'm sorry, size of n naught, and then you have h prime operating on size of n naught, integrate over all space. And we can abbreviate that with this symbol right here, h n n. And then the one here simply indicates that you're dealing with the first order correction. Similarly, your wave functions, like I said, can just be a sum of the zero order wave function plus a correction term. And here you have the formula for the correction term, okay? It's just a sum, okay? It's actually a linear combination of the zero order wave functions. And the coefficient C sub K is given by this formula right here. Okay, so let's go and then you can do second order corrections. Also, let's illustrate this with this problem right here, the next problem. 